I want to show how to visualize the tangent normal frame and uh, Mathematica is a great way to do that. So the tangent normal frame um, takes the unit tangent, the unit normal, and the binormal vectors which are all mutually orthogonal and basically creates a, an axis system that runs along your space curve. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that with this example of a helix and I have sine 4 t over seven, root 17, t over root 17, and cosine 4 of t over root 17. So I'm going to define my vector function uh, by that. So I have sine 4 t over square root of 17. And I'm going to just copy this t over square root of 17 since I'm going to use it several times. Then I have that value, and then I have cosine of four times that value as well. So there's my vector function. And if I wanted to, to uh, visualize this, oops, and I left out a, a brace. So if I want to visualize this, I can do a parametric plot, which I'll call helix. I'm going to name this. Parametric plot 3D RT. And I want T going from zero to some endpoint. I'll just use 3 pi. You don't have to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and make a plot style here with, uh, I want to have thick gray lines uh, in my parametric plot. All right, so there it is. There's my helix. Now, if I change 3 pi, you know, this thing will keep going on. Okay, and I don't really need to see that right now. I just wanted to show that. Okay, now, to get the um, tangent normal frame, I need the unit tangent, the unit normal, and the binormal. So first of all, the unit tangent, which I'll call uh, tvec, is your derivative of your original. Well, it's not exactly that. It's the derivative divided by the, um, the magnitude of your derivative. So we can do that by saying the square root of r prime cross r dot r prime. Because remember, the um, magnitude squared is the dot product. So if I do that, there's my, my normal, my unit tangent uh, vector. Okay, next I want to find the normal vector. So I call this invec. And invec is going to be the derivative of my tvec. So I need tvec prime divided by its magnitude. So I'm doing the, the dot product, the square root of the dot product of tvec. Okay, so there's my normal vector. Now the, vi the binormal, and this is all stuff you learn in multivariate cal uh, calculus, which I'll call bvec, is, if you remember, the cross product of tvec and nvec. So the cross product of your unit tangent and your unit normal. So in Mathematica, I can just use the cross function and say cross product of t vec comma n vec and there it gives me my b vec. Okay, so now we have defined these three um, these three vectors and I want to visualize it. Okay, so um, let me just write a function and I'll explain why this works in a second. Okay, so I'm going to define a function here called vector at t and vector at t is a parametric plot of this form. It's going to be rt plus s times t vec of t. That's your first component. Second component is rt plus s times n vec t. And third is going to be rt plus s times b vec of t. Okay. Now this parametric plot is not parameterized by t in this case because t is the variable of my function. It's a um, parameter of s. And what this will do is this allows s to sweep through, think about it from 0 to 100% of each one of these. So this is placing my three vectors along the space curve in the right orientation. Okay, so when I plug in a value of t, this will actually put those three mutually orthogonal vectors right along the space curve. All right, and so I'm going to make 
to show that these are different, I'm going to um, do a plot style here where I f want the first one to be thick and red. The second one I'll make blue. And the third one I'll make green. Okay, so that means that the unit tangent is going to be in red, the unit normal is in blue, and the binormal is in green. Okay, now to get an idea of what this looks like, watch this. I'm going to say show. Let's, do, let's show helix. Remember that was our original helix. Plus, uh, let's say vector at um, a specific t. How about uh, at 1? Okay, and I want to specify my viewpoint here. Um, I want to specify a 2 to 1 and I want to do a plot range all. Okay, so this just orients it in a certain way and it's thinking and there it is. See, at the, at the position t equals 1, this is my, uh, let's see, there's the unit tangent, there's the normal, and there's the binormal. And I could do several of these along here. So if I do a uh, comma, let's say vector at, how about 5, and how about vector at 9. There they are. There they are, these specific t's. Okay, another thing you can do, if you really want to uh, visualize this, is use the manipulate function. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this same thing. I want to do a show helix and vector at k. I want to keep that same viewpoint and I want to keep the same plot range and uh, here k doesn't make any sense. If I evaluate this right now I'm going to get an error statement. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to use the manipulate function in the beginning and I'm going to let k be a variable going from 0 to 3 pi. Okay, now what this is going to let me do is see here's my curve. There is my uh, tn frame when k is, one, is 0. And as I vary k, I'm just sweeping through the curve. And you can see how these, these mutually orthogonal vectors at any point create basically an axis system along the curve at any given moment. That's pretty cool. Alright, this is just with the helix though. You could do this with other space curves as well. And the process is basically the same. Uh, you would need to come in and redefine your R. And other than that, it's mostly the same. I hope this makes sense. Uh, this is a neat visual. Um, TN frames are kind of a, an interesting concept. If you have any questions on it, I'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching.